made you want to? I mean, it's been thirty years now, hasn't it? Since <laughs> since the original. Um, yeah. What's what's made you want to sort of resurrect Chucky once again? I, I mean, I feel proprietary about Chucky having created it, and I you know I'm a huge horror fan. I it would be difficult for me to let someone else do it. And it's gonna go on, you know, it's, Chucky's gonna outlive me, obviously. <laughs> um, so I feel like while I'm here, I'm gonna keep my own myths into it. I really love the character. He's very versatile. It's allowed me to, you know, make a lot of different kinds of movies, work with a lot of wonderful people. So um, especially, in show business now in Hollywood, it gets harder and harder to make original material. So for us, uh, the sort of challenge is, even though we're making sequels, but we wanna do something original every time. And I, and I actually think it's really possible. And the way I approach sequels is not to try to do what's done before, but, but try to subvert expectation. I believe that like that's that's really what any good storytelling is, is about subverting expectations. And so sequels, give you a unique opportunity to do that because people come to a sequel expecting very specific things. So we try to approach that and and turn it on its head. That's what I had hoped to do anyway. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's 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 hard to go into detail with this story without spoiling too much, but I mean, Fiona, tell me a little bit, you know, for, for people that don't know yet, tell us a little bit about your character in this movie and kind of where she's at now in the story. Um, so we pick me up after uh, I've been accused of killing my entire family and I've been sent to a mental hospital um, and for the criminally insane and then a package arrives and all hell ensues. Fantastic. And what was it like for you sort of coming back to this project and kind of your, the way your characters kind of evolved and changed as well? Um, it, was, it was probably even more fun this time because it was the first time that I've done something that was really written for me. Um, Don and I became really good friends after the last movie, so um, I got to against have a... Against all odds. Against all odds. <laughs> I, so I got to have a, 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 a lot of input and um, yeah, I was, it was just, it was, it was really fun. I felt very confident and um, at home with the material. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure you get asked this a lot, but what's it, what was it like growing up, you know, with your dad being Chucky? <laughs> what's it like growing up in the world of Chucky? Uh, it was cool, <laughs> you know? It was the coolest thing about dating me in high school, <laughs> I for bet. sure. It's a good line. Yeah, yeah. it's true, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you remember the first time you ever saw a Chucky movie, your first Chucky movie? I, I actually kind of think I was at the premiere. I'm, I'm a little scared it's a fabricated memory, <laughs> but I do have a memory of, uh, of of watching um, of listening to my of watching my dad burn. I, I I did I did walk in to the ADR session or the voice recording of my dad uh, being burned to death. I have a real specific memory of God. that, <laughs> where I walked in I walked into the um, I walked into an office and he was screaming bloody murder and I must have been seven or six or something. And I ran screaming, and they had to find me under a desk. Is this all true? It is true, right? I have a memory of it. <laughs> wow. But you never know with Let's your go memory. With it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's true. Um, it's a great story, though. <laughs> it's a good story, either way, exactly. Um, how present is Brad sort of on set, and do you get to actually inter interact much with him in terms he's of He's not performing? present at all. <laughs> no, no. no, he's not. He, he, he didn't come. Uh, all of it is pre recorded, and especially with this movie. Um, uh, Chucky's dialogue was changing last minute, so it wasn't even his voice. It was it was Don's voice saying things really frightfully, and I was like, "Can you can you just do?" Do you go? Do you do a good Chucky impression? Do you do a good Brad no! impression? Thank you. <laughs> um, I kind of want to hear it. Now. <laughs> I I know I know the timing. Yeah. You know that that Chucky needs to have. So that I I mean that's that's what I do get right is it, you know because I, I I know exactly the cadence that mm -hmm. even though I'm not an actor. Um, but as she was like saying, I, I just rewriting a lot on this movie, particularly one big scene mm -hmm. uh, that I'm not allowed to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, but w anyway, yeah. There's just like so many things would be fun to talk about. I know, I know, it's about. it's it's tricky. So the movie, obviously this week, it's premiering at Fright Fest. Yeah. Um, a sold out audience of sort of genre fans. I mean, that must be a joy for you guys to get to sort of watch it with 
horror fans and genre fans. Absolutely. I yeah. yeah. Have you been you've been to the festival before? You've kind of soaked up the atmosphere? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we were here for Curse of Chucky and we had a blast. And you know, it's just like one of the I mean, we're here with Jennifer Tilly. Yeah. You know, Jennifer, you know, ha, I think this is what her life is like 24-7, but we were here for Fry Fest and we were like walking around Leicester Square and people go, Oh, can I have your autograph? And we're like going, Wow, this is kind of fun. So, <laughs> you know, we we're kind of like um Sally Field, and I don't know if you're familiar with Soap Dish, it's yeah. like, you know, like, you feel feel like a stroll around Leicester Square, like a little ego pick-me-up. And then at, at one point, somebody, th these people stopped us, and they were like, excuse me, can can you take a picture? And so we were like... And we're, and we're like going, oh, of course we can. We go like this. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they were really just wanting us to take a picture of them. It had nothing to do with us. Oh, brilliant. It was so embarrassing. That's amazing. Well, <laughs> it was so amazing. It was like, oh! Oh, you don't awkward. want a picture? <laughs> you don't want a picture of me? <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you guys are a big deal to us horror fans. Oh, um, thank you. Aww, and, as you are to us. Uh, yes. And uh, so, you know, you mentioned obviously, you know, the, what's great about the series is the sequels do change and they sort of switch up the, the, the tone, the genre almost. Uh, you know, horror's changed a lot over the last 30 years. How do you kind of you know, how do you reflect that within these Chucky movies, do you think? And how has the horror genre changed since the days of doing Child's Play? Well, you know, it's interesting because I think, you know, in the 90s, for example, um, the movie Scream sort of brought in a sort of tongue-in-cheek, self-referential meta thing. Yeah. And I really l love that. And, and we sort of followed that with Bride and Seed. Now, you know, things have come back full circle. Things, you know, people are more into sort of straightforward horror. And 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 we 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 do serve that, but at the same time, I think we also stay true to a sort of, you know, roots that I think are very specifically 80s. And I think that that's what you know, makes this franchise unique is that there's just something inescapably fun about Chucky. I mean, he's a doll that kills people. Um, and I think, you know, Annabelle obviously is the new kid on the block and is very successful. And and they're much more sort of grim in yeah. a way. And, and, you know, and that's great and that, you know, but I think it's like with ice cream, you know, different flavors for different folks. And I think, I, I think Chucky, with Curse of Chucky and the new movie Cult, we hopefully, what we've tried to do is like be legitimately scary, but at the same time, remind people why they embrace this character in the first place. I think people are very fond of Chucky, and to me, he's sort of like an ambassador for the horror genre or for the Halloween season. You look at Chucky and, and you smile, you know, in a way that you you know, I don't think you do with like Jigsaw, for example, because that's just like, I mean, you know, great stuff, but it's just really relentlessly grim. And I think that Chucky is not relentlessly mm. grim. Yeah, he's, he's, hey, Chucky's having a lot of fun and it's fun to watch. I think that's the deal. Mm -hmm.